Hey, what's going on, Binos? Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year. I'll open up this hidden face, just waiting for people to get on either YouTube chat, Twitch chat, and I'll get open. Uh, I'm giving out the codes too, if anybody wants to stay and get the codes for it. Yo, what's up, Brandon? I'm going to open this for myself. Hopefully, I'll pull the Zard out. Just seeing if, uh, you know, people get on the chat, whatever. <clears throat> I'm hoping, man. I got my fingers crossed, too. You need to pull one for yourself. Yeah, that's... um. That that Zard and, and the one from Burning Shadows I haven't pulled. That I need to pull. But Burning Shadows I gave up and it's just so hard. Hey Tiff. It's so hard to um pull that one in Burning Shadows. I try so much, but I really haven't really tried my all in Hidden Fates, so I'm just gonna try this out. Well, if you want, Brandon, I got more of these if you want. <laughs> got a couple more here, and then hopefully, I'm hoping I could get some more. Probably next week. Uh, Tiff, that's for me. Finding burning shadows for ETB and left out. Zard on my birthday. Wow! So you you opened the uh, uh, burning shadows ETB and the Zard was in there. Lucky guy. Yeah, I, I mean, 
I think I opened up like four booster box, three booster boxes, and a bunch of other loose packs of of uh, burning shadows, but no luck on that. So, yeah, no luck on that. So, that's pretty good luck. I heard they were even doing them in like um, three pack blisters. Like your chances were better there, but um, not much better. Just waiting for my cousin real quick. Oh, yeah, that's all it is, man. It's a big gamble. It's definitely luck. But I haven't had luck in a while, so I'm hoping for some luck on this. So when new stuff first come out, I'd be crazy cool. Yeah, you got that. You got that good hand, man. You definitely got a good hand for everything. Hey, everybody, it's Tony Robbins. Listen, I spent the last 40 Let me see. Right, I'm going to get into opening this. Nobody really like uh, wanted any breaks that I know of, so I'm just doing this off just for me. So, wish me luck. I saw that the promo that's in this set is worth like 40 bucks. Yo, Card Hunters crew, what's going on, man? What is going on? Not too long ago, bro, I pulled a VMAX Pikachu and the Rainbow One. Keep the TikTok done. Oh, what's up, man? Yeah, thank you, thank you. I uh, hopefully I get some good luck. I like the. I, I had um when the first print. I had a few of these, but I had was forced to sell them because I was going. I had a little issue in my family. But just the way these ETBs are, it looks like the box itself looks amazing. Never opened one, so this is my first time opening one. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I could get a one of them shiny um, evolution pools or something like that. So saw that this bad boy was going for like 39, 40 bucks, which. Pretty impressive, so get yourself a coach if you want to take things next level. Take some action right now and get someone in your corner to help you go to the next level quickly, rapidly, passionately, and enjoy That booster box was a killer, bro. No line, man. Hopefully you peep the recap, bro. Man, hi. Yeah, cool. Um, but it was from you. You pulled. You 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 talking about a vivid voltage booster box, right? Brandon, the guy Zarballer, that's uh ch typing in the chat. He pulled. I pulled one out for him last week in the live stream. Um, he bought a couple booster boxes. I'm gonna open up the Zard last. Just my. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to even find them. So, there's the cool card. Anybody wants that? Alright, first pack. Sabrina Suggestion, Metapod, Charmeleon, Clefairy, Eevee, Atkins, Paris. Caterpie, Paris, and a Zapdos holographic. Hold on one second. Let me uh, let me fix the focus on this. 
because I think it's on auto. Some of these cards I need for the set. Just put them to the side. Legit was my first booster box since 2006. I remember we were trying to we were trying to meet up for that one booster box. I think it was Darkness of Blaze. Darkness Darkness of Blaze is hard to get now. I can't even get any. Misty Cer Cerulean Gems, City Gem, Brock Pewter City Gem, Metapod, Magic Card, Coffin, Clefairy, Star U, Jiggly Card. A fairy and a cathedral. Did I give out that color? No, there we go. Lightning Energy, Jinx, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Pikachu, uh, Reverse Fire Energy, and Misty's Workman. That's the reverse. I'm hoping everybody had a Happy New Year, enjoy their New Year. Everything gets better on this year than it was last year. One, two, three, four. Fire Energy, Brock's Grit, Misty Cerulean Gym, Chansey, Ekans, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Slowpoke. Okay, we got a shiny, uh, uh, mini shiny, whatever the hell you want to call it, Magnemite, and a Golem. Okay, so that's a good pull there. lots of food yeah i mean i had to work today so i was like i slept a little bit then got up from my fam with my family to see when the ball dropped they were up but i had to take get some rest i had to be at work early in the morning all right chancy brock's grit scyther charmander the fairy psyduck magikarp Star you, Caterpie, and Erica's hospitality. But it's a non hollow. It's a crappy box so far. Wait, did I do that code? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I went to bed like close to two. I was watching TV with my wife. Because since I fell asleep early, I couldn't, like, go back to sleep. So. But it's whatever. I had to still get up early. Jinx. Chansey. Charmeleon. Jigglypuff. Eevee. Caterpie. Paris. Ekans. Jinx. And a Lapras. Lapras. This box sucks so far. Two, three, four. Uh, fat bro, same. I was tipsy. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Happy New Year's, guys. Yeah, no, I mean, work was easy today. It was so dead. Jinx, Magmar, Brock's Grit, Voltor, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing, Graveler, 
A Wiggly Tough GX. I do not have this card. So I'm gonna just leave that there. So I'm pretty sure it's not a you know, valuable card, but something. Alright, so we're down to the Charizards. Fighting Energy, Giovanni's Exile, Brock's Pure City Gym, Cobra's Trap, Psyduck. Okay, but we are Staryu, the Fairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu. Okay, we got a Decidueye, GX, Shiny, and a Butterfree. Okay, so we got a Shiny. I do not have that Shiny. So, okay, that was good. Wish I had a Zara Shiny, but hey. back on me. Wow. Oh yeah. Hopefully you got a fireplace where you at. Stay warm. Alright, cold card. One, two, three, four. Alright, dark energy, Charmeleon, Graveler, Farfetched, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone. Okay, a rock rough. Shiny, a baby shiny, whatever the hell it is. Don't think I have that one. So we're down to the last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Hidden Fates, Code Card right here. Alright. Yo, Cuzzo, what's going on, man? One, two, three, four. I didn't even see you commenting. You said the Dan ad. Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Brock's Grit, and a Mr. Mime. So that box sucked. <clears throat> I mean, we got this. I guess this kind of like. If I sell that, it makes up for something. Not too sure how much what's the value on that. Let me get my sleeves. Wait a minute. Oh, I got sleeves in here. I know this is like a ten dollar card right here. We got the baby shinies. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I definitely don't have. I, like I said, I didn't open much. Uh, I didn't open much of um, Hidden Fate, so I definitely don't have some things. I feel like I might have the Magnemite. The Rock Rough, I don't have. I don't, I don't have that, so. Oh no, the owl is mine. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me see now. I gotta look at my bind. Yeah, no, I have Magneton. I 
don't have the magnemite. I have magneton. I don't have rock rough. And I know I don't have the decidui. And the uh, jigglypuff. So overall, I guess. I guess it was good. I mean, we didn't get the greatest pull, but we got pulls that we didn't have. So I'm happy with that. And expertly marketed and promoted your products online. Now, how happy are you from one to ten? I'll take it. I'll take the one. We got extra. No, nah, like I said, I don't have extra of these. These I don't have. Yo, what's up, Maximus? Honestly, as long as you have a logo that looks good on literally everything and a Squarespace online store, you're set. I'm chilling. I just opened up a Head and Fate uh, Elite Trainer box. See if I can get lucky, but I didn't. So, it is what it is. Trying to get lucky. I'm gonna open up these right here. Real quick. If I can get a Pikachu. Can we, nope. Can we get an amazing? Alright, we got a white coke, huh? That's what I like. One, two, three, four. Alright, fire energy. Go, go. Wyndham Stadium, Matang, Shepard, Luciana, Voltor, Rockra, Teolo, Don Fan, and a Zapdos. Damn, I'll grab that. Uh, Darkness Ablaze? That's what you're talking about? You talking about Darkness Ablaze? Oh, this. White cool. Yeah, I got a bunch of... I have a bunch of loose packs. I don't have booster boxes. I got, like, maybe, like, 60 loose packs. Joltik, Weedle, Taylor, Chimecho. Oh, baby! I hit gold. I hit gold. I want to use those sleeves. I have... Um, well, I do the breaks uh, three dollars a pack or 36 packs for a hundred bucks and that um that includes shipping um, So if you want free shipping you have to go over 40 bucks so um Yeah, so it's 36 packs for a hundred dollars uh, For breaks, so you're basically getting like the rares and stuff like that If you want them sealed it's like 115 for the 36 packs and then if you want like a single pack sealed, it's uh, four bucks. 
All right, you got my. I don't remember if you got my cash app, but if not, oh, white code card. If not, I'll send it to you through the Instagram. One, two, three, four. Hold on, let me just get through this. Electric, electric, Delmise, Mudbray, Joltig, Weedle, Taolo, Sandow, Garbador, and a McGear now. But somebody should have bought a couple packs of Vivid Voltage. They would have had that right there. All right, so these are mine. Let me um, I'm gonna send it uh, the info right now. Uh, and just message me how many you want. Yo, Aztec, what's up, man? Well, I just pulled this bad boy out out of a couple packs of um, Vivid Voltage that I just opened for myself. Yeah, I know. I don't have it, so definitely a good pull. That's a good pull. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. I saw that. I mean, I came on the on the live late, but I saw it when you showed it to me. That's still a good pull right there. I mean, you could get some some kind of funds back. Yeah, Brandon, I pulled a, I don't know if you was in, was you on the last chat, uh, last week's chat, Aztec? I pulled a, um, uh, 
a rainbow Pikachu for Brandon or for one of the booster boxes. I don't get it. Like, um, like I sold some of the booster boxes, but people were complaining that it's too expensive. And I'm like, do you see how much the sealed case of booster boxes is going for? Like, I'm hurting myself just cracking them open and, and selling them loosely. Like, the cheapest one is like $825 for a sealed case. And I'm selling them at like $115. And people are like, oh, it's too much. Oh, da, da, da. Uh, uh. I'm like, okay. So, you get it? You know. Sorry, I mean, trying to be reasonable. But a sealed case of Vivid Voltage right now on eBay is $825. The lowest. Do I have any extra full? I will have to check. I don't think so. I haven't really opened much of Vivid. And if I did, I suck. Like, I'm getting, like, crappy pulls out of it. I doubt it. I will have to look and check. Just uh, send me like what you're missing. Even if it's like reverse rares. I mean, not re yeah, re reverse hollows. Cause I'll be having extras of those and stuff like that. Like if you're trying to complete a master set. Got that. I didn't get no. I didn't. Really, this is my best pull right here so far from Vivid. If I'm not mistaken, I, I think I I pulled like an Alakazam, full art. Uh. Um. Um. Damn. What else I pulled? I pulled a tote. Do you have any? Nah, I don't have doubles. I don't. I doubt I have doubles of, of full arts. But um, like I said, if you're trying to, damn, I'm just looking at this. The cut is horrible on this. I'm looking at this part. Yeah, but if you need like uh, reverses and stuff, I might have extras of those. Yeah, damn. I'm looking at the cut right now. Pretty bad. Oh, yo, Brandon did, um, you traded with the, for the Charizard with her, right? I think I got, like, when I, p I opened the box, a booster box, I think I got, like, the two suckier amazing rares. I got the, the Raikou and the other one. Suggest somebody right now. Just give me one second. But yeah, Brandon, look at this. <laughs> I opened up some of those. Uh, <laughs> Building battles I had, and I wound up getting two of them. I opened up, little almost a. I opened up almost a whole case. I opened up. No BS. I did open up a whole case. I pulled these two out. I pulled out five Lugias, and I think one Snorlax and two Dunfans out of the whole case. Something like that. Well, it was two Snorlaxes, one Dunfan. But I pulled out these, and I pulled out five Lugias.
Alright, so let me move my stuff to the side. So I can open. Alright, so yeah, I got it. Uh done. So I got ten packs of Sun and Moon base set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright. And then it was seven packs of darkness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So which one you want me to open up first? You gotta keep at it. That's why I'm, I give the 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 deal of the loose packs, basically like what the, the booster boxes are for. That way, like I got one guy, he be buying one pack at a time. He'll buy one pack a week, and sometimes that doesn't cut it. I mean, he pulled a Celebi Amazing Rare out of one of them. But the more you buy, the more your chances are. All right, so let's start with the Sun and Moon. And the more you buy, the better your chances are. All right, green code card. Uh, I'm gonna show these codes. They're really not worth anything to me. I got a Don fan. I, I sold everything else. I got a Don fan if you're interested in that. Oh, it was Green Code Con. So the Bone Beat the Sidgy Alright, I'm trying to get more of those Golden Battle. Because the Charizard is going up. It's like at a hundred and something dollars right now. It's ridiculous. Well, I have two of them, but those two I'm gonna keep and get graded. And they, uh, the front of it looks good to both of them. So I'm hoping like it could get a 10. Hoping. So I'm definitely gonna keep them. Oh my God, another thing. All right, I know in this set it's the is it the Umbreon that's on in this set? I can't remember. I think it's the Umbreon. Well, I haven't gotten any cards graded, but eventually I'm going to get them graded. I'm going to go through PSA. So, I'm just waiting until I get like uh, pretty much like 100 cards. So that way I get the discount. Damn, this is a green card card. So I could get like that. I'm waiting for them to, you know, open back up that they take memberships and stuff like that. And I think it's like 100 cards, $8 a card or something like that. Oh my God, another green card. It's like $8 a card or $9 a card or some, some crap like that. And just send them all at once. Cause I got multiple um, stuff that I wanna get graded, especially like those um, rainbow Charizards I have. Oh my God, another green card. Crap. All right. Oh my goodness. Great ball, Payuka Mufu, Rotom Dex, Morlo, Skullmari, Polybag, Sandy Gas, Eevee, Dark Tricks. Oh, Taurus, GX Rainbow. All right. Damn, what the hell did I put those sleeves at now? Green code cards, that's crazy. Damn it.
to Darkness of Blaze. Hopefully we can get Charizard or Crobat. We did get one good hit out of Alright, white coat combo. These codes I'm gonna keep. Lightning Energy, Struggling, Struggle Gloves, Combuskin, Pupitar, Bounce Sweep, Dunsparce, Electric, Electrike, sorry, Mr. Mine, Grimer, Squovet, oh, Turbo Patch, baby, Gold, we hit Gold, baby. Oddly enough, people haven't been buying Darkness of Blaze from me, and all I've been pulling out is Fire out of Darkness of Blaze. Because for Mike, it was the last one about two weeks ago, maybe three. Last one to buy Darkness of Blaze. I pulled out the Charizard V Max from him. And look at that hit. So, people are sleeping on that Darkness of Blaze. Oh, White Coat Car. One, two, three, four. Lunatune, Dartrix, Glimwood Tangle, Torchic, Aeron, Rookadi, Wishy Washy, Pansage, Semi Sage, and a Grimmsnarl. So we got a hit. So we are two for two, I think, on the darkness. Oh, snap. Three for three, but let's see. Hopefully, it's not a hollow. No hollows. No hollows. Starvia. Swellus. Pupitar. Dino. Jigglypuff. Dunsparce. Clink. Marini. Decidueye. And a Grimmsnarl V Max. Ba boom. Ba boom. There you go. Three for three right now. Darkness ablaze. I don't want to jinx it. Ah, oh, okay. Green coat pack. Alright, so Rose. Nah, I'm pretty sure uh, Sun and Moon is just... I got more packs. I'm pretty sure there's some good pulls in there in those packs. But just... Oh, we got a white coat pack. It's just... No. Two, three, four. It's not the lucky 10 that we pull. I'm telling you, I opened up Evil for somebody. They opened like 10, opened like, they bought like 10 packs of Evo, didn't get nothing. One guy bought three packs, got like two Charizards out of like, nah, he bought like five packs. Got two Charizards out of five packs. Another guy bought 10, got good hits, decent hits. Then the guy that bought five packs before bought a couple more, and then wound up pulling another Charizard. By Brave, uh, Squire, Dunsparce, Clink, Marini, Torchic, Starly, Minitrick, and the Toxtricity. Quality of this one looks better to be honest. Thank you, Kazo. Damn, he said, Why are you not cleaning, kid? Alright, so Rowlet, Gramble. Yeah, at work right now. Yeah, okay, white coat card. No hollow, no hollow. One, two, three, four. Get a hit, let's get a hit. Lunatune, Dartrix, Glenwood Tangle, Shelmet, Panpour, Teddy Ursa, Rookadee, Torchic, Lunatune, and a Houndoom V. So those hits right there kind of like made up for the Sun and Moon base set. I mean, it doesn't make up for it, but what was it? Four hits out of seven packs. Well, no, technically five hits because you got a hollow there, but these are the major hits. But we get, got a secret rare out of one of those packs. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's see what that. Yo, Maximus, tell him what it is. Tell him to get his ass back to work. Yeah, Don, you're going to have to... Uh, meet up with me. I don't think this is going to go in an envelope. Or if you want, it's like three bucks. I could ship it first class 
It'll get to you in a pretty much like a day. If you want to do that, instead of meeting up with me, that's more like time consuming, wasting gas or train fare. Uh, since this is under four ounces, so it should be just like three bucks. If you just send me the three bucks, give me your info and I'll just mail it out to you. It'd be easier. Or if you think another thing too, if you're thinking about buying more, I could hold these. Um, I could hold these cards for you if you buy more, so that way I could ship them all at once. Up to you, I don't know. But if you want these, you know, ASAP, I could ship them out to. Um, you know, not to, I was gonna say tomorrow, but tomorrow the post office is pretty much closed. But Monday, and you probably get it by Tuesday. Yo, another thing, yo, Brandon, are you still on the chat? I wanted to know if you got your Pikachu. If you, you know, the, that package came to you yet. Yeah, you did you did you get your Pikachu yet? Yeah, that's fine with me. Just let me know, Don. Just just uh, stay in touch with me on, in the chat. Exactly, you gotta let me know exactly what you want, cause some of the packs I got up on like eBay and stuff like that. So if you want me to hold something, I'll I'll take it off of eBay and hold it for you. I haven't been home yet. I'll find out tomorrow. All right, cool. I sent you the tracking, right, Brandon? Copy that, Don. I got you. So I'm going to put seven packs to the side. Ah, you know what? Nah, I only got 36. I got a bundle of 36 listed on eBay. So, And I got more than 36, so you should be good. I got you, man. I'm going to put them in a team bag right now. Yes, just been partying. <laughs> Damn, you already forgot about the Pikachu. That's messed up. So I'm gonna put this turbo patch in top loader. Yo, I don't know if I told you, but I had a package, right? I dropped off a package. Um, literally like December 3rd or something like that. I dropped it off. I didn't get no receipt for it or nothing. So, never showed a scan until December 31st that it was out for delivery. I was like, and I sold this on eBay. I was like, what the hell? So literally, USPS is horrible. Like, I don't even know how that thing left New York. I don't know how that thing left New York and got to his location without no scans or nothing. Like, if it's anything big, I'm sending through, like, USPS. I mean, UPS or FedEx from now on. The hell with USPS. If it's, like, first class, small, little, less than a pound stuff, I'll do it for you. It's cheaper, but no more. Uh, I ain't, I'm going to try to stay away from USPS. It's hard. Yeah, that, that's what it is. Still, yo, my wife's ordered something on Macari. Shipped it out. It's, it's been in, it's been not out for delivery, but in the Brooklyn, I guess our local post office or whatever, since the 15th. Since the 15th. 
nothing. I'm like, yo, what the hell? Let I mean, FedEx, they're gonna kick your package around, but I usually pack, pack everything good. But at least it gets to where it's gotta go. Also, I don't know if anybody's interested, but I'm running low on unified mind. Don't have much there. <clears throat> yeah, I think, I mean, I haven't ordered nothing, but like from Macario eBay. But my wife literally got three packages that are still in transit. One of them hasn't left Cali, supposedly, but it could be like the same thing I'm talking about. And it's just going to show up and, it's, you know, out for delivery. Like my package was to the guy. And, and it was going to Maryland. It wasn't even going far. Um, yeah, it's like she's like three packages that are just super delayed. Yo, what's going on, ATM machine? Well, for my man Dawn right here, we pulled out... Damn, I sealed his stuff up right. We pulled out a turbo patch and uh, um, a secret rare from uh, Sun and Moon. And a couple other hits from uh, Darkness of Blaze. And then I, I was opening some packs. I pulled this. Opened some packs of Vivid. Pulled out a secret rare Obstagoon. So, pretty pretty happy on that. Birthday to 17, so you know I'm gonna get it on time. But what kind of booster box you you looking to open or buying or whatever? If it's Darkness Ablaze, I don't got none of Darkness Ablaze. But I'm trying to. I, I should be getting more uh, Vivid Voltage booster boxes. So if you're interested in that, but the Darkness Ablaze, I got I got packs, loose packs, and they have been like good and stuff like I said look you got five hits out of seven packs and one of my other streams Mike I think he bought like ten packs his first pack I opened I believe was the Charizard V Max so he got he got good there and um, he got a bunch of other hits on that Yeah, if it's just for the packs, yeah, I got the packs. I don't have a booster box, but if you want the packs, I'll hold them down for you. If I'm not mistaken, the booster boxes are rising up. A Darkness Ablaze case is going for like mid 700s, like 740, 750, or something like that. Oh, yo, Don, I'm lying. I am lying. I have loose packs, but I also have sleeve packs, a case of sleeve packs. So I'm selling those at 36 packs because it's a case has 144 packs. So the way I did it with Vivid was it, it has six sections, right? And each section has 24 packs. So you pick a corner and then the middle section for that you pick high or low. And those are your 36. Yeah, 
Why darkness? Because like, it's sold out. It's sold out. Like Pokemon, every item from Pokemon is sold out. Even Crimson Invasion, how crappy that was, is sold out. What drew you on? One pack of Vivid? And right now, like, Darkness of Blaze booster boxes are just going up. Going up. Like, they reprinted it, like, uh, a month ago. Sold out. Sold out immediately. Like, even from the distributors, whatever. Like, you can't get them in store. It's hard to get them in store. Like, you got to go somewhere in the sticks where there's a car shop to possibly get them. Because I got you right here. Hold on. Let me, um. Uh... Um, yeah, the resellers are, are going crazy buying them up. Watch in, in time, like, I know Champion's Path isn't that popular because everybody's with shiny face, but Champion's Path is gonna go up too. Yo, this for Drew. Remember, Drew, yo, Drew, I got all your other cards too. You gotta let me know when you want to ship that out. And this is a green cold card. Nothing, Drew. But, uh, hold on. I hope I bag a shiny green man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I, I'm, gonna, I'm hoping, I haven't had, I haven't gotten a word on what I'm getting with shiny fates. But the way, uh, well, the way he, my distributor does it, he says he don't have none. Or whatever he's low quantity, so I might get a case. Let's just say, for example, then he come, he'll come out and be like, "Yo, somebody canceled their order, so I got like a hundred cases," and he usually sells it for like close to market price. Like Hidden Fates, I literally paid like ninety dollars a box. So everybody's like, "Yo, why are you selling this so much?" Because I paid ninety dollars a box, and I'm only selling it sealed for hundred and fifteen. So it's like. I really don't make much money off it. I do this, a lot of this shit. I do it for fun. So, but that I know he's gonna do that because that's what he did with Champions Path. But I didn't fall for the Champions Path. I knew there was gonna be a reprint, and I knew it was gonna water down. So I got the Champions Path. I got it. The second print. I got a few more cases. One more visit. I got a few more cases, a lot cheaper. He was selling the cases at seven hundred dollars for a Champions Pack, and I was like, "Nah, I'm good." Damn it, green cold car. And nothing. Yeah, he he be price gouging. So I'm like, like my cousin, my cousin's, my cousin has the di distro in, in Florida where he doesn't price gouge. Like his prices are a little bit higher than like the normal you know, rate that you're supposed to get them at. But, you know, he'll give him a guaranteed number at like he already got his numbers for Shining Fates. I'm pretty sure me. I'm still in limbo. So I don't even know. Most likely, I'm gonna. It's just gonna be like Champions Pad. I'm gonna get a case of everything, and that's it. So then I have to, and like, oh, matter of fact, with Champions Pad, I had so many cases, cause in my local card shop, I had me, my wife, and my nephew go and buy. I bought three cases, and I had each because it was only in the beginning they allowed three cases per person. I bought three cases at retail. And then I had my wife buy one and my nephew buy one for me at retail price. So I had like five cases at retail price. That's what that's why I had more. And that's why I was selling them like $75. So that I'm gonna have to do that with the shiny face as well. So that way if anybody doesn't get them, I'll have some in stock. 
Third time's a charm. One more. I got this. Oh, damn. Yeah, oh, look, we got something, though. We got a Zashian. Yeah, I got, you know, people were like, oh, not you, Brandon, but people, certain people were like, oh, I want, like, a lot of people wanted the Champions Path at first. So I was like, oh, no, I'm lying. It was Vivid Voltage. When I first got Vivid Voltage, everybody, oh, I want, 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 want. So compare, my price compared to, like, everybody else that be selling on Instagram and some of the people I follow, I was, like, better than all of them. Or, like, right there, like, the same price as them. And, like, people were still complaining. Like, oh, da-da-da. So, that's why I was like, yo, with Vivid Voltage, I had so many people that wanted. They were like, oh, um. Um. That's why I was saying, oh, one, one per person or whatever. But then, ultimately, like, nobody would do some of the people that were, wanted to claim or whatever. Um. You know, they never claimed it. So I was like, all right, it's open after this. I gave to whoever wanted. <clears throat> I wasn't going to hold it for nobody. Unless, like, I really, like, trust them, trust them. Like, there's only a... F all right, all right, Andrew, thanks. There's only, like, a, f you know, a handful of people that I'll, like, hold stuff for. It's nice. If you don't want this card, I'll keep it. Yeah, you said that, and look, boom, you got Pikachu. Lucky. Lucky. Oh, man. So, it's whatever. Like, I look at it like I try my best, like I said, to try to get as much items as I can. Even if it's through my local car shop, cause I'm cool with them, so they they they'll, you know, like the hidden fates uh, boxes. They gave, they were only given one per customer, but they gave me uh, two of them. They gave me two of them, and then I got like two. I got three from the distro, but I'm trying to get more right now through the local car shop. So. I'm trying, I'm trying. So anybody that wants hidden face, I still have a few that um, I haven't sold from the five that I had. Well, I opened one, so now I got four. So um, anybody wants lead trainer boxes from Hidden Fates, um, you can let me know because I'm gonna get more too as well. Yeah, cuz I'm telling you, man, like, I showed you my, my, my listing, like, yo, guys, I will have a list, right, that Pokemon sends out to the distribution, and I get to have access to the list, and it'll have everything, and, you know, back in the days, it was, like, at least six pages of just items, you know, like, literally, like, maybe 20 items on a page or something like that, maybe more, now it's down to one sheet one sheet everything is sold out like the crappiest products that you could think is sold out and that's because pokemon is like blowing up and going crazy and i think what has to do with it too is that pokemon is starting to realize something and they low printing a lot of these items because even shiny faces from what i heard is going to be low print so i don't know how true that is but that's what i heard I think my cousin told me, or maybe somebody else. I don't know. But it's going to be low print, and they're going to do it in waves. So all those people that are promising people, oh, I got you and putting it up for pre-orders, no guarantee you're going to get it um, when it releases. Hell no. So if you don't get it when it releases from them, you come to me. I might have some. <laughs> That's what I told everybody with Champions Pack. I was like, oh, good luck. Everybody pre-ordered with, with what, whatever, whoever, and GameStop and whatever. Good luck. If you having trouble, you come to me. 
Nah, but you know what it is too is Pokemon is realizing like I don't even think it's that it's that like Rebel Clash for example if they would have printed a hundred thousand boxes booster boxes right for a million people that are gonna buy the box people are gonna go crazy and buy that like literally like people sell it on eBay for 90 bucks like the cheapest you could probably get a booster box from a distributor is 7750 my cousin gets his from his distributor at 81 I get mines at like 80 so how the hell I'm supposed to com com uh, compete with $90 on eBay after shipping and fees I'm already under $70 it's pretty crappy so I li th honestly that's the reason why I never really bought any booster boxes until now because now it's harder to get and at least you know MSRP is supposed to be really $144 for these boxes but people I really believe is dis distributors that are selling on eBay that's my personal opinion my cousin could tell you I always went with that no way in hell like even the Yu-Gi-Oh booster boxes they got them on eBay cheaper than what I paid for them and I'm like no way like if it's a normal business or whatever you're getting it no way you getting it that cheap much cheaper to sell it and then you got to ship it and all that other shit is like no way so i'm really think it'd be it'd be distributors that be selling on ebay but pokemon's realizing some of the mom and pop stores instead of competing for with people on ebay they low print it or you know they low print it or do it in waves so that way the demand is higher so that way those you know stores could stay afloat and you know they can sell the box for you know whatever market price is and most likely market price is gonna rise up which is smart on their part because if all the mom and pop stores close down then what kind of business they gonna have it's only gonna be like Target and stuff and it won't even be booster box it'll be just sleeve packs and blisters and crap like that Oh yeah, and Brandon, Darkness of Blaze is going up because there's one character in it that, you know, you can't compete with him, and that's Charizard. Even though it's a VMAX full art, but watch, that that's gonna be like uh, Burning Shadow. It's gonna be high up, like Burning Shadow. Well, you got two VMAXs, uh, Charizards. Just throw, I got you. I'm going to throw everything. I got everything. I'm going to put those in a new, um, in a team bag because I got your stuff all sealed up. Yeah, yo, you ain't the only one. <laughs> you ain't the only one, Brandon. <laughs> An extra Crobat full art for Darkness of Blaze? Nah. I w hit up my cousin. Hit up my cousin, um... St. Anne, he might. I know he was opening a lot of um, um, Darkness of Blaze stuff. And then I have those two to match up. <laughs> See, I got, mad, I got mad stuff to go to grading. Look, look. I got mad stuff to go to grade. <laughs> and this is what has just been coming out recently. Like everything that I have that is in storage that is old. So 
got three shinies art. Yo, sell me one, yo. I gotta throw it in my face. I need one of those. That's the only one I'm missing. Out of out of the the um the champions pack. I think I'm almost like completed the whole master set of champions pack. I'm missing that and I think the Gardevoir Rainbow Rare. Yeah, dude, that's my cousin. That's my my little cousin. I'm older than him by, I think, two years. Or three years, something like that. Yo, what's up, AJ? But, um... Yeah, Aztec, that's my cousin. Some of the stuff you was buying from him was originally from, from me. <laughs> he might have bought it from from like my distro and I sent it to him. But now he's got the distributor out there, so he's good. Um, damn, what did I do with these team bags? Team bag. On the booster boxes, yeah, those are for those are from him. Anything like, damn. I think if you bought a booster box from him, damn, did I buy a selling a booster box? I did it. No, I forgot what. I don't know how long it's been that he 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 got the distributor out there, but it's been like a month or two or something like that but um yeah like a lot of the stuff he was getting before was for me So, I, yeah, those booster boxes got to be from his distributor. So I don't know if they juice like mine. <laughs> but I'm trying to think. I can't remember, like, in the first, like, when it first was released, if I sent him booster boxes. Because he did order, but I can't remember if I sent him or he had me sell them to somebody or some crap like that. I don't remember. Yeah, but um, again, Aztec um, hit him up about the Crobat. I don't know if he, I know he was opening. I bought a couple of uh, cards from him from Darkness of Blaze that he pulled. That he was just opening whatever and he was selling them. Yeah, <laughs> he's a Brooklyn boy too. He's just in Florida now. Um. Yeah, I have another cousin that he doesn't do it like this. And he doesn't like sell or whatever, but he's been opening all kinds of stuff. Like he even opens up like, oh, let me put this with juice dash. He even opens up like all sorts of wrestling, football, basketball. He's more into those. And he's doing Pokemon too. But he's just not selling it. He's just opening stuff. But yeah, that's my little cousin. <clears throat> but, yo. Uh... I'm going to get off this, so I wish everybody enjoyed their...
Happy New Year's, everyone done buying tonight. Yeah, I didn't really have any orders tonight. Like, whoever came on, came on just now and ordered. I was just opening up that uh, Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box to, uh, I guess, celebrate the new year. So, but that's it. Um, so, I want everybody to enjoy their weekend and stuff like that. If anybody, you know, wants to order or whatever, I'll come on in the next, you know, tomorrow or whatever. I want everybody to enjoy the night. Be safe. Um, enjoy the weekend. Just be safe on the weekend. So happy New Year's to everybody. Bless everybody. Take care. And enjoy, people. Until next time, CJ is out. <laughs>